Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this lecture, we will see AWS Cloud Trail. AWS Cloud Trail is a web service in Amazon, which is used for uh, uh, tracking user activity and uh, API usage. Let's go to AWS Management Console and check. By default, we can see recent events in CloudTrail dashboard. Okay, by default, uh, it will keep a recent 90 days of events happening in this account. Let's see all events. Okay, so these are the recent events that's happening in my account in this region okay um, there are certain events performed using root user okay there are certain events performed using Kashi user okay let's expand the event and see what kind of information we can uh, uh, check region event name event source username source ip in sense from which ip address this specific operation is performed uh, we can even click view event that will display the complete event details in a json format okay now we also can apply some filters and uh, uh, display the events which we are looking for in case we want to have these events into s3 bucket and let's say even we want to have events which are older than 90 days we need to create a trail so as you said right by default what we can do is we can see recent events in the dashboard that happens by default without any special configuration but if you want these details to be stored into s3 bucket which can be further processed for uh, compliance uh, risk auditing operational auditing all that stuff we have to create a trail okay let's go to trails i have created this trail some time back uh, let me show again how to create a trail by deleting this existing one now we don't have any trails right let's go ahead and create a trail We can apply this for all regions or only for the current region. There are three different types of CloudTrail events. They are management events, insight events, data events. So certain events fall under management and certain fall under insight and certain fall under data. So coming to management events. For example, launching EC2, starting EC2, stopping EC2, describing EC2, so all that stuff like uh, creating volumes, and deleting volumes, so all that falls under management events. Under management, we have read only, write only. Read only like describe instances, describe tags, describe status checks describe volumes they all fall under read only start instance stop instance launch instance terminate instance all that falls under write only we also can choose logging aws kms events we could say yes or no if we don't want to log all kms events inside events or events which will track any suspicious activity in the account so it will keep track of uh, a typical or regular activities happening in the account if there are any events which is suspicious okay those events are registered by insight events we can enable or disable and finally we have data events so mainly like uploading objects to s3 deleting objects from s3 downloading objects from 
S3, all that falls under data event under S3 and even lambda functions come under data events. For example, invoking a lambda function also fall under data events. So those things we can select and enable if we want to see those events also into our S3 bucket or we can leave it. Now I want to store I want to store all these events in S3 bucket. Okay, uh, I could say create new bucket and uh, store all these events into that bucket. If there is any existing bucket, I could say no and provide the existing bucket name there and hit create. So now it creates a trail and every event, cloud trail event will be stored inside this bucket. Cloud trail events can be used for different use cases. Like I said, we can use it for compliance, uh, security auditing, operational auditing, risk auditing, all that stuff. Let's say, for example, I want to know what are the resources created manually. Otherwise, what are the resources created through Terraform or through Java SDK, a Python SDK. Even those kind of activities can be performed on cloud trail. Other use cases would be, let's say, I want to implement auto tagging in my uh, application. For example, whenever a new EC2 instance is launched, I want to automatically tag those instances, for example. And go to uh, CloudWatch event and we can choose that event as CloudTrail event and do that auto tagging. I have opened the S3 bucket and I could see uh, CloudTrail events stored inside the bucket. So that's all about this video. Thanks for watching.